uh, exercises which I have given you. Okay, so let us see what are the those first one. First exercise is create a VI to find the length of a string. Okay, let us see how we do it. See, to find the length of a string, let us go for the string length option. Let me delete all this. Okay, and let me keep this string length over here. String length means how many characters are there in the string. So we require a numerical control to show how many strings are there. So an indicator. So let me go for the indicator over here and connect that indicator to this. Okay. Now when I run this, it will, what uh, what it should show? Five. Hello means H E double L O. So it will show five characters are there. So if I type hello, then space and then India. How many characters it should show? Eleven. Why eleven? Ah, the space which you made in between, that also will be considered as a character. It is not that uh, hello also, hello has five and India has five, so it should show ten. No. Whatever you type from the uh, keyboard, it will be considered as a character over there. The space bar also will be considered as a character over there. Okay. Now coming to and our next to create to concatenate three strings. What do you mean by concatenate? Add after the other. Okay. So let let me I'll show you how you do it. See, I have for that I require uh, three string controls so that I have to concatenate all those. So let me copy. Control C, V, V, okay. Let me delete this numeric and then have a string indicator to show all those values. Okay, to concatenate all these values. So let me delete here. Let me write. Okay, I think now you can see it. So I've written Mera Bharat Mahan. So let us concatenate this. Okay. Come to the concatenate string. Okay. And let me extend it into three and connect each one of this here. Okay. Now let us run this and see. Hope you have understood it. I have taken three string controls and a concatenate string. If you have more string controls, four or five string controls, you could have easily extended it like this. Okay. So here we have only three. So we are taking it only th as three. And the output is given to the string indicator over here. Okay. Now let us run this and see. Any problem? Eh? Is, is there any problem over here? Uh, we are uh, means uh, But the, when the string is concatenated, it will concatenate at the end. It will not consider that it is a word or a sentence or anything. It will concatenate it as a single uh, single string. So it will not consider any uh, sp space in between. If you require a space, then you have put a space over there within that itself. See, at after Mera, if I have put a space, 
and Bharat ke baad ek space de diya hota. So then it will give that. So uh, it will concatenate all what is given on that one after the other. So that is the meaning of concatenate also. So this will work like this. Okay. Now we will go to the next part of it. Create a VI to cut apart a part of a string. So now we were concatenating the string. Now we require a part of it. So that we require it as a single string. Okay. So we will see how to do it. Same we will do uh, delete some of this. Okay. Let me write here. Mera Bharat Mahal, so that okay. Now let us let us see what how the array subset works. This we, for this a string subset we use string subset here. Okay. So uh, one thing I have not uh, told you. See, I have been telling you flat view for the past three days now. Uh, you might have seen I am not explaining all functions all. Um, controls in the control palette and in the functions palette also. It is an impossible uh, endeavor also, even if I do it. And I may bore you also. So I take only, I am taking only the simple ones so that it will be easy for you to understand also. But it may not be the case as you start working your thesis or a project in it. When you start working on a thesis or a project, you may have various requirements which I might not have told you also. In some cases you may not get good books also on this. So the many a time the help of LabVIEW will be a good um, help made to you. So how will you go to the help? That also I will tell you how to take help from LabVIEW. See here I have taken a um, function over here and I don't know how where to connect and all what to do with it, what you do is right click on this, go to help and it will give you a brief description what the particular function is, how it will work and it will show you an example program, example VI how to work it. So let us see here it gives string subset function, which palette it is from and what it will do returns the substring of the input string beginning at offset and containing length number of characters. And then it will it is showing here you have to connect the offset. First you have to connect the initial string at this point. You have to connect the initial string, connect the offset here, connect the length of characters that you want to cut out and that substring will be shown here. Okay, now it is giving various uh, explanations of what offset is, what length is and then at the end it gives some related examples also. Click on to this example, it will open those VIs of those examples and you can go through it and understand how it is uh, working also. So here it is showing what are all those terminals and what you should connect on to it. So coming down here, the first terminal is that we have to connect the original string to it. Okay. Second terminal uh, and you see here also if you watch it gives a blue color here and the magenta color here. Magenta means you have to connect a string to that. Here also you see that you have to connect a string indicator or a string control over it. But here it is showing blue that means you have to connect integers to it. So you have to connect a particular create constant value from where it should cut apart or subset kahan se lena hai. 
So I'm giving a value 4. And what should be the length of the string which you want to cut out? So I'm going to give it 6. Okay, now let us see where it will cut and what it will do. See, I have written 4 and 6. And then the output string should be here, connected to the control. Now let us see what we get. Where have where, where we uh, asked it to do? What was the offset value? 4. So, where did it cut? Eh? Mera ke baad wo space is also included. Okay, so let us, I will show you again. Let me start with 1, then you will understand. Okay, let us run this. Okay, when I put 1, it starts from E. So what will happen if I write 0? What will happen if I write 0? It starts from M. So the indexing starts from 0. So you count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the index, just like an array here also. Array also, the indexing starts from 0. So here also, the index starts from 0. So we have to, it is not that it, we count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. We start counting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and it will cut from 4. So when I put uh, 1, when I put 1, it cuts from the second because that is the so index is 1 for E actually. So it cuts from here and now it counts 6 because the length is 6. It counts 6. See here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So how you, you got what in offset is and length is. Okay. Offset is the index of that particular character from where it will um, can cut apart and give you the subset. Okay. Then we have some more very interesting uh, string operations to convert a string to upper case, to lower case, rotate a string, reverse a string. All these are very easy. Easy. It can be easily done. So let me go into that. Okay. Again, I'll show you. I'll take a new string control. Okay and a string indicator okay now we have to go for upper case let us see string functions there is a function called two upper case and another function called two lower case. So let me take that two upper case here. <coughs> so let's connect this here. So the problem itself it is asking you do for lower case also. So let me take that two lower case also here. Have another indicator control C control V Okay, now here the it is uppercase only now. So I take the connection from here. Okay. So I should get the uppercase converted to lowercase. Now let us go for rotating a string. It is in the additional uh, string functions. Usme a rotate string hai. And it has also the reverse string also. So let me take three, two more uh, string control or indicators and then wire from here. So now I have 
four string controls which will have all these functions together all those four functions which i have shown you to convert a string to uppercase characters to convert a string to lowercase characters to rotate a string to reverse a string all as i have made in one single control panel itself so let me arrange this वो लिस्ट चाहिए क्या ये फ्रेश है पर ये वो लिस्ट वगैरह ये परम वगैरह लिखा नहीं है ओके नाउ लेट मी राइट हियर हेलो ओके नाउ लेट अस रन दिस एंड शी लेट मी मेक इट बिगर सो दैट इट इज बिसिबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू Okay, so the first string was to convert it to uppercase, so it is converted into uppercase. हमने क्या किया वो uppercase को ही वो to lowercase को दिया था, so वो C को दोबारा convert करके hello lowercase में मिला है. फिर ये reverse, this is the rotate string, rotate string लगाया ना हमने, हम्म, ये rotate string क्या होता है? What is the difference between rotate and reverse? Ah, in reverse, वो hello को O L L E H लिखते हैं. In rotate, it rotated only the first character. It has shifted the first character from the first position to the last position. Okay. So if I uh, shift the second now the present first ko full rotate karne se kya milta h e end me a jata ok so if you have to rotate it you have to put it in a loop and again and again do the process once one rotate will only rotate the only one character one character will be rotated from the first place to the last place ok that is what rotated us. Reverse will reverse the whole thing from the, the last character will be written as the first character. The last but one character will be written as the second character. And the first character will be written as the last character. So all those will be reversed in the order in which it is occurring in the first string. Okay, that is reverse string. That's why I have shown it so that you can yourself understand what rotate character and what reverse, what rotate string and what reverse string does. Okay? These are all very simple operations. One more uh, operation I'll explain. That is the format a string operation concatenates a message string a numeric string, a unique string, and then add it. Okay, so uh, I'll show you that. See here. This is the format into a string um, function, string function. Okay, I'll show you this here. In the string um, functions, I'll go to the format into a string. There are various replace of string, search and replace, match patterns. Oh, match pattern, kai question us mein hai, where I find out whether there is a mismatch match, regular expression, all those things are there, date, uh, date into string, string into date, okay, all those things. Here it is a format into a screen that I will show you. Okay, so now here what we do is, we can format a number, a unit, and into and a string together, and then combine together 
to get a final string. So, either like example, we have a set to 10.24 volts. So, 10.24 is coming from a numeric. That's what we do here. See, see, I write here. This is the first um, for initial string, and in the numeric, I have 10.245. And in the third string, I have this volts. Now, all these three together, I have to get a string here, indicator string here, set to 10.24 volts. Okay, that is what we are going to do with this format into a string action ap application. Now, see here, this string is connected to this initial string of op our uh, option, and to these areas which are here, we will connect. See here, when I take it basically, there is no, only one double to be seen here. If you want to put more and more numbers or strings into that, we have to extend it. So, yeah, if you connect two or three numeric controls over to there, then that can be connected. And if you want to connect a uh, numeric string over there, then that also can be connected. Okay. Now, let me, I will show you this. Okay. So, here I am keeping a numeric control value. And then string control value also. Okay. Then I have another string control also here which gives the initial string, control C, control V, okay, and the indicator string. I'm, I change it into indicator, okay. Now, when I connect it here, see, this is the indicator string, I'm, uh, initial string which I am going to connect. This is that numeric which I am going to format into this. So, it's the parallel or double may have numeric connect here. This also I want to format into it. So, I connect it to this value. It automatically becomes a string. Either orange and magenta hai. Or bhi aapko connect karna hai to connect kar sakte hai. Okay. Now, this you will give as the indicator string. You have error in and error out terminals also here. error out terminal. So here you can connect an error out cluster to see whether uh, if you have any problem, if you can uh, 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 show see whether there is an error to show out that. Now there is one more format string over here. Okay, let us, before going into the format string, let me double click into this and see what is this. See, when I double click it, it will give an option of edit format string. See here, there are two numbers. One is the format of fractional number, O N a numeric mein hai. Next is the format string. Jo bhi humne either Format के लिए connect किया हुआ हमने एक numeric control connect किया हुआ है एक string connect किया हुआ है ये दोनों वो format में आ जाएगा क्या format आपको चाहिए that we can define over here one is the format fractional number there I will write that common format string format uh, uh, form we use like 0 0.2 point to 0 point two का मतलब क्या है you will have two decimal places. Point 0.2 means after the decimal places, you will have two places. Uh, round off to that two places. And yes, so we have written percent 0.2f percent s. Percent s is for the second string. If you are more connected over here, then you, have, you could have written for all those format strings over here. You write OK. Now you see, automatically a format string is now connected to this format string. Okay? 
मैं ये फॉर्मेट स्ट्रिंग को इसके अंदर जो विंडो में सेट किया है इट ऑटोमेटिकली राइट ओवर हियर दैट इट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू एफ परसेंट एस ओके नाउ लेट मी टेल यू इफ आई राइट हियर टेन पॉइंट टू फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ओके और अब हमने फॉर्मेट में क्या लिखा जीरो पॉइंट टू सो इट विल फॉर्मेट इट टू टेन पॉइंट टू फोर ओके लेट मी राइट हियर सेट टू एंड राइट हियर वॉइस Now run this. मैंने स्ट्रिंग टू को इधर रखा हुआ है ओके ओके लेट मी करेक्ट इट हेलो यस गुड आफ्टरनून मैम आई एम फ्रॉम द्रोणाचार्य कॉलेज ऑफ हाँ यस मैम राइट नाउ वी आर कनेक्टिंग न्यूमेरिक वैल्यू एंड इट्स शोइंग एरर कैन यू एक्सप्लेन अगेन प्लीज नहीं वेयर डिड यू कनेक्ट द न्यूमेरिक टू दिस फॉर्मेट इन दू स्ट्रिंग मैम न्यूमेरिक को कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं हम लोग कहा कनेक्ट किया हाँ जी uh, मिडल वन आइकन पे हम क्लिक कर रहे हैं तो वो डिस्कनेक्ट शो कर रहा है लाइक आई कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड आप कहा कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं नंबर को हेलो हेलो मैम आप कौन फॉर्मेट इंटू स्ट्रिंग पे कनेक्ट किया है क्या स्ट्रिंग कनेक्ट हो चुकी है मैम न्यूमेरिक वैल्यू कनेक्शन शो नहीं हो रहा है आई कैन नॉट गेट योर क्वेश्चन आप किस पे आपने कॉल किया है बता दो हेलो हेलो मैम वी हैव कनेक्टेड टू स्ट्रिंग ऑन टू द दिस Uh, this is middle uh, middle one is the error in when we connecting numeric to the error in it will show in pe numeric nahi connect karna hai aap dbl pe numeric connect karo na okay okay ma'am jo dbl idhar dikha raha hai us pe kar kar lijiye and i will show you again see listen show listen to me here on the function string go to format into string ओके एंड प्लेस दैट फॉर्मेट इंडस्ट्रिंग हियर ओके दिस इज दी फॉर्मेट इंडस्ट्रिंग नाउ ओके ओके नाउ यू यू फर्स्ट सी वॉट आई एम डूइंग यू कनेक्ट दी स्ट्रिंग टू दी इनिशियल स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग या इन पे नहीं कनेक्ट करना है उसके नीचे एक डीबीएल है उस पर आप न्यूमरिक कनेक्ट करो देन यू एक्सटेंड दैट डीबीएल यू विल गेट वन मोर डीबीएल उस पर आप दूसरा स्ट्रिंग कनेक्ट करो देर इज ए टू इनपुट वेन वी स्ट्रेच दिस आइकन देन देर इज ए टू इनपुट इनपुट टू मैं सुना नहीं आप क्या सेकेंड वन राइट आपको इसको थोड़ा एक्सटेंड करने से आपको दूसरा डीबीएल मिलेगा डीबीएल पे आप स्ट्रिंग को कनेक्ट करने से वो ऑटोमेटिकली उधर ए बी सी लिख के आ जाएगा Oh, okay, ma'am. I understand. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Running is a bit of a bit. Resulting string, we will connect it. Okay. Now you listen to me again. I will explain something more. 
on the format into string you double click okay and you will have a edit format string window on that there is a format fractional number and format string as you keep on the format fractional number there is a format here written over here see here there is a format written over here when it is format fractional number you write here percentage s right format string where it is percent s niche the example example it is percent s change this percent s into 0.2 2f change this percent s into percent 0.2f and then percent s when you put okay automatically it will show the format string over here okay let me try to increase the size of this now can you see this format string maine kaise likha hai The format string is written as percent zero point two f percent s. This is not written here. You have to double click this and you have to write this here. When you write this, this will format the whole thing and give you the output. See here. Let me show you the output. Now see here. Even though you have written ten point two four five seven, because the format which you have defined zero point two, this will give it as ten point two five only. Will give it as ten point two five only. Because you have given here words, it is giving percent s. This is percent s for the string, and this ten point two five as percent. Point to F. Imagine I have to write set to ten point two five volts and three point three five amps amperes. Okay, how would I have done we? हम इसको concatenate ही करना है ना? हमने volts पे and लिख दिया. and keeping another numeric control which has value 3.357 amperes and another string indicator string control which i am writing as So if I have to connect all this, what will we do now? Is all of me required to connect to me? So what I'll do? I'll extend it again, okay, and connect this numeric of the ampere value here, and this string here. Now I have two doubles and two strings. Now we open this, okay. Now you open this. We will have four here in that order: format fractional number, format string, format fractional number, format string. Why? Because I have connected four num uh, data type here. 
in the order double string double string numeric string numeric string so you will have it here now i'm going to set this to 0.3f and the other one to 0.2f <coughs> so now my data string is you will be able to see this now 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 this is the format string okay now what you will get you should get it as set to 10.25 volts and 3.36 amps let us see what we get okay because we have put the numeric format string as 0.3f yes we are getting this as set to 10.246 volts and 3.36 amps so the, here it is 0.2f so we are getting 3.36 amps so in that order you will be able to format the numeric also convert the numeric into string and all those numeric and string values are concatenated to each other and you will get the output by using this format into string what is the difference between this format into string and concatenate string here also you do concatenate string only what is the difference here concat string mein bhi ab yahi kar rahe the na string ko concatenate kiya ah usme numeric values nahi tha good usme numeric values nahi tha all were string only here we have numeric as numeric controls we have so those numeric controls those numeric values we convert into strings and then we concatenate that is what we do in format into string i think uh, you will be able to uh, do practice all this uh, then you will be able, uh, able to understand how to do it okay now one more area i want to clear is the file input output okay in uh, file input output the main function in file input output is you will be able to store your value or save your values into a file or read from a file which is already saved into so we should see how we will do this this is very important when we do real time data processing when you do real time data processing it is very important and the file i o part of uh, lab view has lots of facilities that you can write into a spreadsheet file write into a text file binary file Uh, various uh, types of files you can uh, put it into so let us see there is an option called file io and we have i told you now open create file close file format into a file all those many of them are there but i am taking two simple ones which will be easy for you to do and then as you Uh, are proficient uh, uh, and proof it then then you will go to all this and these the other files are mainly used when we go for real time data acquisition where you have to put real time data see here there is one option here write to measurement file see i am going to give you a simple example of a write to measurement file okay let me go that see yesterday we have seen a simulation a sine wave simulator where was it it was in express kanda express signal analysis simulate signal so this express vi generates a signal sinusoidal signal you can have other signals also i'm taking a sinusoidal signal of 10 hertz frequency now i want to put these this data which is generated into a file okay so what i'm going to do is 
I connect this sign from here, okay, to a file Okay, let me okay, we can graph then. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now here I should have given this sign to signals and then from here because I have okay, because I have written a uh, a file name over here. I don't know whether you are you are able to see that. There is a path given here in this system which I am using. Uh, users, STC, documents, like. So what I am going to uh, delete all this. Simple, simplify it to a particular uh, data where I am going to put it. Let me take it to the pen drive which I am using it. Okay. So, I put it as G colon slash test dot LVM files. Usually, it takes LVM file or Turium file depends on the binary or LVM say we will be able to open it in notepad. That's why I am taking that. So, I put the file name or a path. It is very important that you specify the path in, uh, clearly so that you will be able to re retrieve where you have kept your file. Okay. So, let us go to that. Okay. Mm. And in here, let me put a waveform graph also here. So, that I let me see whether it is giving that same picture which I was seeing in the simulation file. Okay. So, I am going to connect it to the waveform graph. Okay. Now, let me run this. Okay. Now, I have to see whether this uh, the path and the file name which I have provided in the write to measurement file test.lvm it is in the pen drive. So, let me see whether I can get the pen drive. Okay. This is that G disk or else you go to computer and then to the pen drive. See, this test is saved over there. Then when I open the test by using notepad, I'll be able to see all those sinusoidal values of which I was that um, sine wave was made. See here. Because it is the amplitude was 1, it, it was giving you all values less than 1 and minus 1, see. Okay. Similarly, I will give you more examples of this that if I generate some random values or I have some values in an array, I keep it into a uh, read write file and then take to a uh, read file also. I will show you some more examples. One simple example I'll show you is that I was generating simple values. This is the part of that example which I was taking y is equal to x square plus 2x plus 5. What I've done in this simple example, in a for loop, I was generating values from 1 to 0 to 10 in steps of 0.2. Okay. What we did? For loop, 
the value here is 51 and here i is divided by 5 okay so let me let me make the application form a little bit higher so that you will be able to see it okay now see here I put the uh, count as 51 and here I divide i by 5 so that I have all values from 0 to 10 in steps of 2. What I did? I took a write to measurement file because we are getting an array output, a single, two dimen single dimensional array, one dimensional array output which has to be converted into dynamic data. So as you connect itself, this dynamic data converter will come over there and I am also storing it to an array. So see let us see how we get it. When we run this, okay, okay, before that let me see which where it is saving. In the right to measurement file, it is saving in g test1.lvm. Okay, I have put it as test1.lvm. So let us see whether the, the, there we get the file. Okay, let us run this. See, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1.2. This is an endless file till 10. I am not going to show you. You, you extend this um, uh, array, you will see all the values. So, you have all those values here. Similarly, you can see it in the G also, in G also, in test 1. So, let me go to that G and test 1 is here. Now, open test 1. You can see all these values 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 10. Okay. Imagine you have one more data to be stored. What will you do? We go for another file. We have three or four data to be stored. I say his data. So we can store it in a single data file. So, I will show you an example of that now. See here, so that same equation, I have only modified it, but I did that x values are generated, are used by a formula node. And a y is calculated, y is equal to x square plus 2x plus 5. See, x square plus 2x plus 5 and z is equal to 3x plus 2y. Jo y piche calculate kiya that and 3x plus 2y karke z bhi calculate kiya. So, I have an x in the input and y and z in the output. So, all these three is now connected to the signals. All these three are now connected to the signals by having a merge signal file. See, I have, you know merge signal, you know now write to measurement, you know dynamic converter, you know for loop, you know formula node. I have not taken anything new. Only what you have learnt only I have taken to explain it to you. And I am storing it in an array also. So here let me see where this is saved. Let me make it as test2.lvm. Okay. Now let us run this. Is array mein pura nahi aega, that, let, that we can see. It will just show that some value is stored. Okay, it is run. Now let us go to G and see what is in test to do. See here in test 2, you have all the three values. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 here. Then 5, 5.4, 5.5 because x square plus 2x plus 5. So that is here and 3x plus 2y is z, that is also here. All three you can save. Depending on how many values you have, you make it, you calculate it or whatever be the source, 
here I have made the source. When it is a real time data acquisition also, you have various channels and you are getting the data from various channels and from each of these channels you can save it into a file like this. This file, this is write to measurement file. Okay. Now, let me close this test tool. I will show you another example where I will I'll, file which is written is read also. Okay. Let me close some of the examples which we were doing. See here, here what I have done is, some values are written into a file and that same file name is given to a real measurement file to read and show the output. Okay, let us see what is the output. If array is here, array has some values, those values are now written into a, a right measurement file and then read by a read measurement file. See here, write to measurement file and read from measurement file. See, there is nothing new here. The only thing new here is the file name. How will the read from measurement file get to know which file to be read? So, we have to pass on the file name from this write to measurement to read from measurement. So, here I have put an array from the array, the signals are coming to signals and from the read measurement file signals, it is coming to another array. So, that uh, those are these two arrays here. Those are these two arrays here. Now, this path I will tell you what it is. Now, here, th it, from the file name out, we give to the file name here. From here, the file name out, we connect to the file name in here. This is a, a path indicator, okay. That is what I have given here. You know array, you know, I don't have to show you what array is. I will just show you what a path is. See here, when you come to modern, every time it is a string and path control. It is not simply a string control. String and path control. And it has string control, string indicator, a combo box, a file path control and a file path indicator also is there. You take this file path indicator and make it here. And then connect that indicator here. It is, when it is view as icon, it Okay? What, what is the utility of this file path indicator? It will show on the control panel, on the front panel, that this file path has been transferred from the write to measurement file to the read from measurement file. Got it? So, let us see what this write to measurement file may kya path amne diya hua. Let us change this C data. Let me keep this as test 3 and here instead of C, let me keep it as G. Okay, so that it will save into the pen drive. So the, here it is test 3.lvm. Okay, now let us run this file. Let me put some values here. 1, 1, 2, 3, 2. Okay, some values in the array. Now let us run this. You will find that those same values have been transferred to array 2 and the path shows g colon test 3 dot lvm. I let me increase the size so that you can see it. See here, can you see the values? Okay, and the path also is given here. 
this path is actually the path indicator which is shown here path indicator this is taken from the controls palette of file path indicator so that the file name which transferred file path which is transferred from this file to this file okay this same thing i have used for another example i will show you that example also then to be very clear for you see that same example of calculating x y and z which we have written into a file here write to measurement file just i have transferred a read from measurement file the file name and then i have written it on to an array here okay same thing which just now i have shown you here what is the uh, speciality i have three values so to to write it to a array i should have a two dimensional array over there okay should have a two dimensional array same way i have a path indicator also have put here and the read from measurement file and a dynamic data converter this i will tell you this is a transpose see while i was working i could find that it was showing it as an array i wanted it as a column so i transposed it that's all is the difference so what here this was the example which i was showing you that it will write three sets of values x value also y value also z value also and these three set values which is stored in the write to measurement file and the file can be read by the read from measurement file and put into an array okay so uh, let me see what the let me make it as text test for dot lbm okay and let us run this and see okay we were calculating the values of x y and z okay now let us see what the values come we come get here okay see i i don't require those 50 values so aapne agar notice kiya hoga maine iska um, uh, loop value 51 se 10 banaya 9 banaya tha so that i may get it in a small array that's all i changed uh, so that i get it in an array so here i get all those 10 values here all those 10 values here and here the path as g test for dot lb okay i think uh with this uh, write to measurement and read from measurement files uh, you can many a time uh, do many of your activities and with if it is specific file that you want to be kept it into a uh, spreadsheet file or a binary file or a text file then you may go for the other options we have in the uh, file io uh, function box okay any questions which i have explained now this file path ki baat kar rahe if i change the value over there only it will change see here jo maine iske andar jo value diya hai wohi udhar file path indicator mein aayega fix rakhenge tabhi to ek that what is this test for the test for is a file which is made in this file it is automatically making this file maine koi file idhar nahi banaya aapne abhi dekha hoga main abhi ek char panch examples explain karte karte 1 2 3 4 5 files test files isme ban gaye automatically it will make a file in that particular directory which i specified so the what is this test for test for mein ye for 10 values hai so it is save in the file when you then till now we were doing we will see in an array or we will make a graph we are we were not logging the values so this is how we data log we log the particular values by using lappy so the file io is very important over here whenever we require all the values together okay any other questions any questions from the uh, senders remote senders i have uh, covered almost the entire um, software part of it from structures 
लूप्स एरेस कस्टर स्ट्रिंग्स वेफॉर्म चार्ट्स एंड ग्राफ्स एंड फाइल आई यूज आई थिंक द बेसिक पार्ट ऑफ लैब यू सॉफ्टवेयर हैज बीन कवर्ड सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन आस मी नाउ वन मोर थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू मीन्स हाईलाइट यू इज tomorrow morning mrs shimi sl will give you a lecture on projects what all projects can be done in this electrical uh, this using lab view some uh, interesting examples will be given little bit higher end programs jo maine bahut simple simple programs aapko 75 diya hai she had sent i had sent to all coordinators all those notes of those files so i request the coordinators to check your mail get the uh, file printed and give to the participants so that they can you can read through it and uh, come tomorrow understanding it so it will be easy for her to explain it and in the afternoon we will have the uh, real time data acquisition part of it any questions have all the coordinators listen to me what i told you please check your mails see that file that file is ni tutorial see that files take a print out and give to the coordinate give to the participants so that you come prepared for the class tomorrow morning okay aap logo ko bhi mil jayenge any questions any of the centers so we can have a tea break now it's 3:30 we can have a break for tea and after that uh, i will be sitting here uh, you reassemble for your practicals and then we can have discussions um, of all questions you had i have been answering questions and you can even ask regarding the exercises you are doing also if you have any problem while doing in the practical class also you can say ye nahi ho raha hai wo nahi ho raha i will show you what i have done so that you will be able to do it in your uh, practical classes also okay okay hello ha ah, hello graph which sender good afternoon ma'am i am anshul from dronachary college of engineering gurgaon okay uh, ma'am i have uh, some doubts regarding arrays and matrices okay koi problem nahi puchho ma'am uh, in question number 46 uh, it is done like we have we have to generate a array of five numbers so we can select the five numbers it is okay then uh, ma'am my doubt is how to introduce the time gap okay okay let me wait one minute um, i i'll do that let's play it i'll explain it see here i think you can see the board uh, the one which i have done here let me uh, expand it one minute can you see this yes ma'am uh, so here i have done this um Uh, this is the random number generator 
and that random number generator has been given to the numeric indicator and 10 10 num numbers are generated in your example it is five numbers see now there is a time delay here see here yes there is a time delay here this you will get from the timing functions okay ma'am timing functions go to time delay so we have to uh, use a for loop for the delay yes yes we have to use a for loop then only you will get all the numbers otherwise okay, you will generate only one random number we have to okay, for all array applications you require for loops because okay. This it will generate only one single value. Random number generator will generate only one single value. So you require a for loop to make it generate the number of values you require. So I have put 10 over here, so it will generate 10 random numbers. Okay, ma'am. So this time delay is to see all these 10 numbers on the uh, uh, numeric indicator. Otherwise, you will see only the last value. It will write, re, uh, re, uh, rewrite on top of it. Okay, so, to, by putting a time delay, you will be able to see all these numbers one by one and then it will rewrite all those. You require a for loop everywhere. Okay, ma'am. Uh, okay. You can ask any question like that. Any single question also, no problem. Whatever, wherever you ask problems, you can ask. Ah, uh, Oh, ma'am, my next question. Uh, Ma'am, it is regarding uh, the multiplication of array with scalar. Ma'am, we have to use, we have to generate a 5 by 2 array. We can, uh, we can multiply directly by using uh, uh, the scalar, the scalar component in numeric. Yes, you can. Yes, you can do it. Ma'am, uh, my question, ma'am, one of my question is, Oh. I have I have a, an array with five elements that is a uh, five by five cross one and a uh, five five cross two matrices and I was uh, I want to multiply these uh, these two things so uh, like you have a matrix two dimensional matrix five by two matrix yes yes ma'am yes you have a two dimensional five by two matrix okay let me make it, let me let me you please wait. Add dimension and you have a 5 by 2 matrix. This is your matrix. Now okay. what you want to do? Ma'am, I have to multiply two matrices. Two I, want matrices. Multiply, I want to multiply two matrices. Two matrices. Okay. That uh, is, uh, matrices uh, can be created from array only. So uh, if... Okay, no problem. Okay. So See my here. one array is of 5 element. That is 5 cross 1 matrix. And uh, another one is that 5 cross 2 or anything. See, listen to me. Array, multi whenever you have to multiply an array with a scalar, you can simply use the multiplication uh, value, multiplication function yes. here. Yes, ma'am. But for multiplying two arrays, like 5 by 1 by 1 by 2, Okay. Or 5 by 3 with a 3 by 4 matrix. Yes, you sir. cannot multiply. You but cannot it multiply. Error. It was right. showing error. Yes, it will show error. So it has two techniques. One is that you convert the array into a matrix. And there is an option of matrix multiplication in the function block diagrams. In the function diagrams. Or okay. else, listen to me. Or else, Another method to do it is you do a full process of three with, within loops and indexing. I can show you an example. Yes, One minute. I can show you. I have done that. I can show you that. See, this is an example of a 3 by 4 matrix. Yes, ma'am. Multiplied by a 4 by 5 matrix. Yes, ma'am. So that you will get a 4 by 5 matrix here. 3 by 4 by 5 matrix here. Okay, so here, uh, okay, coming, to, one minute, uh, coming to the matrix multiplication, this is the figure. See, 
you require to have three nested for loops yes ma'am in wherein you have to index the row row of the first array and column of the second array and mm -hmm. then again index the row which is indexed into each of the uh, values and the column ka each of the values then multiply it add it and a shift register okay ha huh. yes ma'am okay okay so that procedure it should be done very carefully and explain it see in for this this we are using the index array function here by using the index array function here you give the last row this i told you the outer row will cater to the rows the inner row inner uh, loop will cater to the columns and the last in the innermost loop will cater to that multiplication and addition see if you have a 3 by 4 matrix and a 4 by 5 matrix so you have a three rows and five columns so yes. your outer loop will be run for th three times the yes. second loop will run for five times but the innermost loop will run for four times four times four times so here yes. you have to connect this i to this row here and you have to connect this second the second loop ka i you connect to the column here so what yes. happens the the rows will be indexed and given to this index and the column will be indexed and given to this index here what happens is it will index by this i of the inner loop so the first element and the first first element of the first row and the first element of the first column and then the second element second element multiply and add it. so every time you multiply and add by using a shift register yes ma'am by doing this it will be indexed one by one by one and out you will get the uh, 3 by 5 matrix i can show you for one minute if you wait let me put values here hmm yes ma'am Okay. Now I have put values here, and let me come here, and I'll I'll do an execution highlighting. Yes, ma'am. So that you can see one by one how it is done. Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ah, uh, highlighting at each. the so position uh, and the value is coming here that is connected from here to the shift register here then again the next values are moving you can see the values moving and multiplying indexing and getting the values a little bit difficult that is why i did not explain good question you have asked me <laughs> i did not explain it because it is a little bit difficult uh, thing how i get it Uh, same thing you have a, if you go into the functions matrix functions you will find the matrix multiplication now you don't have to do this also but then it is there that you have you should have a matrix it is not that with arrays you can do so you have array to matrix converters use that convert it into matrix and then um we well, use this matrix multiplication function so that is why this is not very uh, relevant also because uh, this was relevant when i was using lagu 7 there there matrix multiplication was not there now with 8.6 and 2013 and all the matrix multiplication has all come as functions only so you don't have to uh, do it in this way that is why i did not explain actually it is there 
so you can do it okay okay ma'am okay uh, any other questions ma'am till now it is clear okay thank you very much okay thank you ma'am ye aapko dekha it is very good an example of indexing and um, getting it out so when we go for the it will after doing all these activities it will give the values into array 3 so you will get a 3 by 5 matrix multiplied matrix multiplication otherwise i can show you where the matrix multiplication is it is in mathematics linear algebra and this is the matrix multiplication a multiplied by b a cross a cross a multiplication b multiply is ko our cross product will be given in outer product and inner product this is a multiplication b only so when you have to but then here you should have this for scale eh ha ah okay this can determine everything is good शिमी टू
उनकी ख्वाहिश सबकी बंद है सब लेकिन तुम देख रहे होंगे